this is lash by nola so today i have a new video for y'all um this video is going to be how to attract new customers how to build your clientele how to use different apps how to use um different different things on your phone through google or yelp so make sure you watch the video all the way to the end so you can get all this good information i'm about to give you all a lot of this information i do go over and go over when i do um, a training session but if you're not in houston and you can't come to one of my trainings this video is for you if you're not following me on social media, make sure you look in the description um, box. I will have all my social media information. If you want me to cover a different type of video, drop me a comment, shoot me a DM, or email me. The information will be located below. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications. That way, whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Y'all have a great day. Be blessed. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to cover is if you're not on social media, um, make sure you have Instagram. Make sure you have Facebook and make sure you have a Snapchat. And I'm going to tell you for Instagram, I have my Instagram connected with my Facebook. So whenever I post on one, it's going to post on the other one. So make sure you always do that. Um, set up your Facebook. Make sure everything is matching. Make sure you have your business hours on your Facebook. Make sure you have your um, contact information on there. Make sure you have your book now um, options set on both of the pages. And if you're using a personal page, make sure you switch everything over to business don't mix the two don't have your kids and your um your spouse and your sexy stuff on your business page make it a professional page when you go into a department store you don't see the owners in there um with their families doing you know what i'm saying you, you it's business so keep your business you, you get what i'm you know you get what i'm trying to say don't mix the two now what i would say is let's just say you already have a large following on your personal page and Instead of, you you know, some people don't be wanting to get a business page because you don't have nobody on there. You can switch it. So what you would do is turn your personal page into your business page and then tell everybody to go follow your new personal page because you're going to be separating it. So just let them know what's going on. And people that you may not want, to, you know, they may not want to see what's going on in the business page. They would just unfollow and go to the personal page if it doesn't pertain to them. So that's another good way to separate them instead of having to start all the way fresh. But don't mix them. It's not, I mean, when I'm... When I'm searching something, if I follow you on both, I don't want to see, I don't want to see it on both. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, I just want to see your business stuff. If I'm looking for a, a hairstyle or I'm looking for nails or I'm looking for esthetician, I just want to see your work. I don't want to see what you do outside of work. You know, every now and then it's cool, of course, let people know who you is, introduce them to the boss, but we don't want to see that all the time. So just try to separate it, separate the two. I know a lot of people cross promote on both pages and I just say don't overwhelm people. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, maybe once a week do it. Uh, every now and then post something to post it in your story. But people don't want to see it on both pages. They don't want to see your work on your personal page and your business page. And they don't want to see your private life on your business page. Separate it. Like this, these social media apps are awesome if they're used correctly. And if you don't know how to use them, just... Pay attention to other people that are successful on how they use it. Some people do cross-promote on both of them, and they may have the amount of followers where they can do that. But at the same time, most professionals do have their own professional business page where you go in and it's just business stuff. So just take note and see what applies to you, and then, you know, incorporate that into your business. Back to making sure everything is set up properly. Um, switch your Instagram over to business. Make sure you set up a Facebook business page. You have all your information listed on there under business. Um, another good thing to do is your stories. Um, whenever you use your um, your stories in Instagram, I never use the stories on Facebook, but in Instagram, it's good to make sure you post your stories often. You may post on your stories more than you post on your actual page. But when you post on your stories, there's a few things you should always do. Always tag your location. Always tag yourself. And always use three hashtags in your stories. I always use three, but you can't see them. So what I do, I take them and I, I make them, I minimize them, and I make them really, really small. So what that does, if somebody is in Houston, if they're searching Houston, Texas, my picture is going to come up. If they're searching lash extensions um, in Houston, I have, I have hashtagged it. So when they search it, it's going to come up. 
So I post more in my stories because people are searching on hashtags. Anytime I need something, I go to the hashtags first. So, and, and the same thing, whenever you post it on your um, your Instagram, your, um, your actual page, you do the same thing. Tag your location, tag yourself. Always tag yourself and put some hashtags in it. But another rule is whenever you post on your, your story and on your, actually, your actual page, when you post on your page, try to use hashtags that have less people um, on that hashtag. Because if you're using hashtags that have like millions of followers, you're gonna, you're, they're not, most likely they're not gonna see you because so many people are using it. So whenever I post on my actual page, I try to find hashtags that have less, less people attached to that hashtag. But when you post on your stories, you can, it doesn't matter if they have millions, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's actually, it's an actual story. So just doing those two will help grow your Instagram. It, it helps people to find you. Whenever I do get a new client that comes to me, I always ask them, how did they find me? And most people just say through hashtags or they was referrals, you know? We'll get into that on how your clients can help you build up your business, but it plays a part in you and the service that you, that you give to them. Okay. So the next thing is Snapchat. I don't really use Snapchat for business purposes, but some people do. I have a personal Snapchat that I hardly ever use, but if you're going to be using it for business purposes, just be active on it. Make sure you post all the time. You know, you want to, you want to post every, you know, just post often that's what helps you grow once you've grown you know you don't have to really do too much you don't have to work as hard but if you're a new business person you got to work at it or get somebody else to help you work and grow your business so for me those are the the three social medias that i'm going to talk about today in this video another thing is yelp yelp helps you grow your business because a lot of people are not on social media so i get a lot of people that come to me just from yelp but yelp download the app on your phone um there's like the yelp for business app um app so you download that and i don't have it on this phone because this is a new i do so you download the yelp business app and you set up your profile set up all your information your business information you can put your website there you can put your pictures there so that way if i'm in town visiting new york i need a last tag first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to google or i'm gonna look at yelp and i'm gonna look up their pictures and look up their reviews because again Everybody's on social media, but then everybody is not on social media. There are some people that really don't care for it, but they still need services done. So make sure you create your Yelp profile and you can manage everything. Like on mine, I have my pictures, I have my business information, I have my the list of services I offer. And another way to get your clients um, to, put, to get the reviews going, when, um, what I do is I offer my clients $15 off. So if you go, you know, you go on Yelp and leave me a review, you get fifteen dollars off your next service. Or you can offer five or ten, or you can just tell your clients, hey, if you like my services, go on Yelp and leave me a review. You know, I would appreciate it. If they mess with you and they support you, tell your family, tell your friends, everybody, go and write those reviews for you because the more reviews you have, the higher ranked up you will be. And all that helps you build up your business. I get a lot of people from Yelp as well. But honestly, to say the most amount of clients, I, I get the most clients from my clients. My clients refer people to me. Um, people, you know, they like my customer service. They like that I'm available. I, I mean, I answer my phone. I answer my text messages. I'm not rude. I'm not disrespectful to people. I answer DMs still. Like, this is my business. So I'm going to be available to you. Um, the only way I would like not be as if maybe you rub me the wrong way or you know some people just give you a bad vibe and you know that old saying all money is not good money but other than that i'm available like this is my business this is how i make money this is how i take care of my family this is how i'm able to you know have good products for y'all and just you know make y'all at home and i feel at home as well when i'm working with different people okay so we cover instagram we cover facebook we covered a little snapchat and we cover yelp Another thing is make sure you, if you can, get your website up and going. Um, my website, I had the, the first part of my website was done on Fiverr. Um, I may be saying it wrong, a Fiverr, download Fiverr. Um, and Fiverr has everything that you need for business purposes. You can um, find people to promote your social media. You can find people to promote your, your website. You can find website creators. Um, you can find everything, business purposes, business cards. They got so much on um on Fiverr is amazing. So if you don't have your website, get your website done and you know have somebody that works with you to help you get it where it's searchable. And you know, when people in your area, like just say for example, Houston Lashes, if somebody types that in, you want your website to pop up. You know, if not the top 
if not the top person to be in the top results. So make sure you have, you know, you got to make sure you have all these things connected and make sure all your things match. All your, all your brand colors are the same. Make sure all your, your branding name, everything is the same. Everything coincides with everything. Make sure you have the correct numbers on all your platforms. Make sure you have, um, good, clear pictures. Take some good, you know, wipe your cameras off when you're taking your pictures and make sure the pictures come out crisp and clear or get some professional pictures done and have those pictures posted so people can see it. When you're out, you're you're a walking billboard. You know what I'm saying? Like most, I have shirts made with my business name. Um, I'm going to be, I have some scrubs, but I don't have my business name on them. But I'm going to be getting that printed on my scrubs as well. You're a walking billboard. Everybody you see is a potential customer. When you're first starting out, set a goal for yourself. Every day I'm going to pass out 10 cars. Or every day I'm going to interact with 20 people and discuss my business with them. Or, you know, share my business with them. When you're in the elevator, Get a cars out to the men. Get a cars out to the woman. Give them out to the older people. Give them out to different races because you may never know. Some They may know somebody that may want what you offer done. So everybody you see is a potential customer until you're at the point where you post, I'm not taking no more cl clients. Everybody's a potential client and you have to treat your business as such. If you're not a people person, then doing lashes or working in the beauty industry, it may not be for you because you have to interact with people. You have to be friendly. You have to smile. You have to network. That's how you grow your business. Like you, you have to be seen. So like, like I said, if you're not me, I'm very quiet. I'm very reserved. But when it comes to making my money and when it comes to servicing clients, you might as well say a different person comes out. But other than that, I'm very shy. I'm very reserved. I don't like walking in, in a crowded room with a lot of people. I don't like being the center of attention. I don't like none of that. But when it comes to taking care of my business, I'm gonna take care of my business. Whatever city you in, when you're slow or you just starting out, go to Vistaprint, go to Zazzle, go to Fiverr, um, go to Etsy, find somebody to print out those business cards or you print your own business cards out, pass your cards out everywhere. When you're slow, go, in the, go into the beauty stores, leave your cards in the beauty stores. Leave somebody at the, the at the counter your car. Let them know, hey, when girls come in here asking for their lashes, if, they, if you know somebody that do lashes, give them my information. Every person you send, I'm going to give you $10 off or I'm going to start, you know what I'm saying? Like the more you bring to me, you will get discounts for that. Just tell them, give your name. I mean, like, you know, get them an incentive to, to help you grow your business. Go in the malls, pass out your cards, get some flyers made, leave flyers on people's cars. Another good thing to do is through the post office, you can get some flyers made and you can pick the targeted zip code you want your flyers to be um, mailed out to. And that way, the post office will be delivering your flyers. Let's just say if you, you know, you, you work in one area and you stand in another area, but you want to attract clients in this area, target that area. Like it's going to cost a little money, but don't even think about that in the beginning because everything good is going to cost something. You will get that money back. Um, another thing is, if you're not the best or you feel you're not the best um, or maybe you are the best take additional training perfect your craft if you don't want to take additional training then perfect your craft when you're at home not doing nothing are you scrolling social media watching everybody else's life pull out them tweezers or pull out that that um, mannequin and braid or work on work on work on your craft to perfect it that way you won't have to work so hard for people coming, you know, looking for people. They'll come to you because your brand or your work is going to speak for itself. You know, don't ever think that you're so good that I can, you won't pay for training. I paid for more than one training and I never cried about it. I, I did it with, I did it and I was happy about it because I know it was just going to make me be better. When I first took my first training, I didn't know hardly nothing. I left that training and felt so defeated, but that didn't stop me. I mean, it paused me. But I came back, but that didn't stop me. I took additional trainings and I just made sure I try to perfect my craft. Just like when we started the um the lash line, there wasn't nothing that I just said, hey, I want to start a lash line. Um, I've been doing lashes for five years now. It doesn't seem like that long, but it took me forever. It was so much trial and error. Um, I sampled so many glues. And you know, with, with trying out glues, it's a process because you have to... Um, you have to do them. You have to use it. I wait on the clients to come back. You gotta, you know, you gotta try with so many different people to see what actually works. And it wasn't like five years on gone. It was, you know, here and there. But I finally found um, a lash line that I love, and 
if you're wondering why I have three different adhesives, because why not? Um, but seriously, I have three different ones because I have some clients that my high guard adhesive, it may irritate their eyes or my Mardi Gras may be too strong for one person or the Lady Black, you may smell it in your nose. And then I have, I, I have Tasha that may happen with and then I got Brittany that may not happen with. So I have three different ones. They're all one second glues. I recommend they're, they only be used by professionals because if you're just practicing a training, the glue dries too fast. So once you get your experience level up, I would definitely say shop with LBM Pro and you know try my adhesives out. And if you still want to try them out, you can try them out, but they do dry pretty fast. I am going to be having um, a clear adhesive come out soon, so stay tuned for that. And it's going to be just as good. If you haven't been to the website, go check out the website. Place the order. Um, order some of my products. The products are awesome. I am looking for brand ambassadors, so you can contact me um, via email, lashfinola at gmail.com, to get information on being a brand ambassador. If you are looking into getting trained by me, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. If you go to my Instagram, the link is in the book now option. Just click on book and select the date, contact me, and we will schedule on getting you a one-on-one -on -one training. I do have a group training coming up. Um, I did have some dates already listed, but I had to change the dates. So I took the flyers off my off Instagram and I'm going to repost them um, with the virus going on in China. There are still some other supplies that I need for my kits. So I had to postpone the training, but the training is coming. The price will remain the same. Keep in mind, that price is a special price. That is not what I charge for training. I have never paid those prices for training. Um, I have never. My first training was over $2,000. So I'm not going to short change myself. People contact me for training. I don't go out and ask people, do they want to get trained by me? So I'm, I'm just letting y'all know that is a special price. Don't question it. You pay your deposit that reserves your spot. When you come for the extra trainings and you pay your balance and the balance is paid in cash. You can do cash or Zelle. No cash up. Cause I'm not trying to get nobody frauding me. I don't play that. But um, <laughs> don't question the prices. The prices is discounted. The prices is discounted. That's not, like I said, that's not my actual price I charge for my trainings. My trainings are not cheap. Cause I don't do nothing cheap over here. My, I pay for expensive trainings. I didn't, I didn't just go to know anybody and get trained. I went to professionals. I went to licensed people. I went to people who had actual businesses. I wasn't trained at nobody house. I was at an actual place of business when I got trained. And when you come to me, you're going to be coming to a business. You're going to get a kit. You're going to be served lunch. You're going to get your certificate. The certificate is not a license. Don't go around telling people you got a license. You have a certificate that says, Lash Finola trains you her techniques. Okay? If you're in the state of Texas, you do need a license to do lash extensions. If you're a cosmetologist, you're covered. If you're an esthetician, you're covered. If you're in a medical field, I'm not sure how far it goes out the medical field, but I know if you're a nurse, you can do it under that license as well. Make sure if you're doing lashes in Texas, take your business serious. I said this before. I said it in other videos. I was saying in my training. Don't just take a, 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 a training course and not be certified. Don't, and you, don't certified and being licensed is two different things. Be, get certified. But let some get make sure you get your license as well so you're covered. Because if not, the state of Texas can come in and find you. They can shut your business down. If you mess up somebody's lashes, you mess up somebody's eyes, you can get sued. So a lot of this I talk about in my training class. I tell you how to set your business up. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. But I do do refresher courses. I do business courses. We can do it on a FaceTime call. Or if you're in Houston, you can come in. I'm going to be having some other stuff coming up where you can just purchase it online and you'll have the information. And I mean, you can contact me. I, I do give out a lot of information without charging. For some information, I do charge for it because I can't give everything away for free. But I do, I do give out a lot of information because God blessed me, so I do want to bless other people. But that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you liked the video. I hope I covered um, everything that I wanted to cover in this video. And if not, if I missed something and I need to do another video, let me know. I will always do it in between clients. So when I get a break, I'll, um, you know, drop a video for y'all. Have a great day. Be blessed. Um, y'all talk to God. Pray. If anything's bothering you, talk to God about it. If you're unsure about starting that business, Talk to God about it and have faith and listen to him. And he's going to tell you whether you should do it or not. Um, if you got people in your life that's not supporting you and what you do, remove them from your life. Don't share everything with your people as well. Sometimes you just got to 
You got to execute, execute behind the doors and then just pop up. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to tell everybody what you're doing because people, everybody's not going to be happy for you. Everybody's not going to see your vision. Everybody's not going to support you and that's okay. You just be okay with, you know, what's in your heart and what God placed you on this earth to do. All right, so that's it for me. Again, have a great day. Be blessed.